This video took a long time to figure out how to do it correctly. How to put Windows 10 on a bootable flash drive when you're on a Mac. This method might only work for Maverick and Yosemite. And so if you go to the top left, hit Mac information, you can see what version your Mac is on. Mine is OS X Yosemite. We'll need at least an 8GB USB flash drive. And now is the time to put your USB flash drive into your computer. I'm going to use a 16 gigabyte flash drive. First, we'll use Max Search to search for Disk Utility. We'll prep up our USB flash drive by using Disk Utility. Find the USB flash drive, which is over there. Hit Partition. Make sure that the partition layout is one partition. Then make sure the format is MS-DOS parentheses fat. You can name the flash drive whatever you want. I'll name mine Windows 10. Afterwards, you can hit options underneath the partition layout. Make sure that you have master boot record. Master boot record is used to create bootable USB flash drives. Hit apply and everything on that device will be deleted. So make sure you back up whatever you have on that device. Within seconds, the partition should be done. For the next step, you can search for Bootcamp Assistant. Bootcamp Assistant is to put U, uh, Microsoft Windows 10 onto a USB flash drive. Hit Next, uncheck the bottom two options. Make sure the top option is checked. Now open up your Downloads folder. Find your Windows 10 ISO file. And make sure that the size by right-clicking Get Info is a reasonable size. I've had Google Chrome only download 2.5 gigabytes. But the size of Windows 10 is more like 4.12 gigabytes. So that's why you also need an 8 gigabyte USB flash drive. Browse for this ISO file on the next prompt and find the Windows 10 ISO. Afterwards, your USB flash drive should be selected and hit next. Everything on the device will be deleted. Hit next and it will use a USB flash drive and copy the files onto that USB flash drive. So this will take around 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so. It takes a while. So you're gonna have to sit up, uh, well, sit tight and wait for it to finish. It will copy the Windows 10 files and even though it might seem to be halting, just let it finish its business unless you have an error message. Leave in the comments if you ever have an error message, I'll try to help you out. I'm gonna skip, the, I'm gonna skip ahead and see the final product. Once bootcamp finishes, it will say so. So afterwards, you can close that menu and eject your USB flash drive. So now we insert the USB flash drive into our Windows computer. We can press F12 to get to the boot menu on my computer. It might be a different key on yours. Once you get to the boot menu, you can select USB storage device to boot into your USB storage device. It will say booping, booting from bootcamp assistant. Afterwards, you'll see the Windows logo. So at this point, you know, it's probably working right now. I'm going to take you to the start of the setup to verify that it's actually working. So we wait a couple of minutes for this to load, maybe like a couple seconds. And this is basically you got your Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive from your Mac. So the problem was for me was that figuring out was such an issue because some people had these commands, then you were missing the master boot record so you couldn't boot into it, and then I just didn't know what to do. And then other people said, oh, I had this problem, this problem, and this problem, making a simple Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive just on a Mac. It was much harder than I thought it was. Even though I knew about Bootcamp Assistant, people just said, no, that doesn't work for some Macs, so you might have some problems with some versions of Macs. But this is the video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.